Frog versus Toad We'd like to ask you a personal question in relation to the Toad versus Frog argument. Have you ever been walking down the street and thought you recognized a close friend only to discover it was a random stranger who was bothered by your casual approach to them? If you had done more than simply shout out to them, there might have been problems with the lack of personal space in addition to the embarrassing idea that you failed to recognize the distinction between them and your close buddy. When you're out and about and come across a cute frog, for instance, this kind of thing does indeed occur. Is it a toad, though? Can't you distinguish between them? Fear not, we're confident you can after watching this video. If you look at photographs of cute frogs, you can mistake them for toads. On the other hand, their resemblance is uncanny enough that you could even visit a friend and mistake their pet toad for a frog. What distinguishes a frog from a toad, even though they are frequently confused for one another? The explanation is that their evolution and preferred lifestyles have a lot to do with it. Once you learn to concentrate on their peculiarities, differentiating one from the other isn't that difficult. But first, let's define frogs. They are small, slender animals that like being close to bodies of water. What is a toad, in the meantime? The fact is that they are identical, with the exception that they prefer open spaces like grasslands over a frog's environment. There's also a good probability that you came looking for information about them to see if you have a toad or a frog in your garden. There isn't really any shame in it because we know we've done it before. Perhaps you're debating between getting a pet toad or frog as well. These condensed facts about their differences and similarities will undoubtedly be helpful to you in either case. This might even assist you in choosing between the frog and the toad as your favorite. Toad versus frog origins in the Anura Kingdom. We should also take a closer look at their shared past in order to identify the differences between a frog and a toad first. To begin with, both originated from the Anura Kingdom, whose animals are by nature tailless. Frogs can be found practically anywhere, with the exception of areas that experience extreme cold or heat, just like the majority of people that live in the Anura Kingdom. The Anuran family Bufonidae, also known as toads, is mentioned. It is accurate to claim that not all frogs are frogs and not all toads are toads. In fact, toads are frogs that belong to the Bufonidae, or true toads, subclass of the Anura Kingdom. All the members of this class are toads. Additionally, some of these toads have names that suggest they are frogs, which may confuse some people. The Renity family includes actual frogs. If the true toad members join, the actual frogs get their own tiny club as well. The Renity, their family, contains numerous subfamilies that have been elevated to families due to their enormous diversity. Any frog with a typical appearance belongs to the Renity family, of which just one species, Rana, is found in America. Frog versus Toad, Physical Dissimilarities What should we do if we encounter a frog and wish to determine whether it is a toad now that we have its animal order under control? Toad legs are shorter than those of a frog. If you ever encounter a frog, observe if it is leaping or just hopping. This reveals whether you are seeing a toad or a frog. Frogs have longer legs than toads. In contrast to the toad's small hind legs, frog feet are webbed. Toads are consequently slower than frogs. Toad eyes are smaller and less projecting than frog eyes. Frogs prefer to be near bodies of water because areas with the ideal balance of land and water are more likely to have a large number of predators. Frogs have protruding eyes that allow them to see clearly and widely, which increases their alertness to predators. Toad's eyes are smaller. Toad skin is rougher than frog skin. Frog skin is smooth and always seems to be wet because of its moisture content. In contrast, toads have lumps on their backs that are sometimes mistaken for warts. In fact, frog skin appears to be much more wet outside the water. The largest toad in the world is smaller than the largest frog. The cane toad can grow up to 9 inches and the goliath frog can grow up to 12 inches. This is important information to have because frogs can appear as infrequently as possible. The cane toad prefers environments with as little human interaction as possible, while some goliath frogs can grow to be as large as house cats. Some frogs can even hop from tree to tree, like the gliding leaf frog. Many frogs are lively, 
whereas toads are frequently quiet and statuesque. The gliding leaf frog, which leaps through trees and spends the night inside of them, is the ideal illustration of this. Their webbed feet allow them to glide across the rainforests of their native land. Frog versus toad behavior. There is a significant difference between frogs and toads, even though we can't say for certain that they all share the same personality. In fact, toads and frogs not only have different physical characteristics, but they also flourish in various settings, which might impact their behavior. Frogs want to remain hidden from onlookers. The toads, however, behave casually in the company of humans. Eggs from frogs and toads are structured differently. It's most likely frog eggs if you find a group of eggs packed closely together. Toads, on the other hand, prefer to keep theirs straight. Frogs and toads also always hang out near water because they need it to absorb their eggs so they can hatch. Toads favor grassy areas. Unlike frogs, which favor areas with substantial quantities of water, toads are typically found in wide, open areas. This is done so that frogs, who, unlike toads, can dry out, frogs always appear damp because they live close to water. Toads, on the other hand, do better in drier environments. A frog is an amphibian since it can live on land but has to be in the water all the time. Some toads typically outlive frogs. Scientists have made it possible for us to know that frogs typically live for 5 to 10 years. This raises the issue of toad longevity. It's also close to that average because they have the same genetic makeup. The cane toad is an anomaly, though, as its usual minimum lifespan is just approximately 10 years. Due to the variations in their bodies, frogs move more quickly than toads. Toads are more predatory than other amphibians because they wait for their prey to approach them. In addition to having tiny legs and a stubby character, they are slower than frogs that frequently spring out of nowhere. Cultural values in toad versus frog. Animals, like humans, have an innate desire to interpret the world around us in terms of symbols and life cycle cues. Frogs have played a significant role in history and perhaps more so in how we view the world. Frogs bring down coins and toads bring forth rain. In Mexico and Africa, toads are uncommon, so when one is discovered, the locals rejoice because they represent rain. Due to Lu Hai Chan, a mystic and advisor to the emperor who was frequently seen carrying a toad on his shoulder, they are also well known in China. Frogs are considered to be animal totems that represent transformations, encouraging us to engage in conflicts that, despite their challenges, will be to our advantage. This book, The Black Toad, is about witchcraft. It's crucial to remember that toads were originally thought to be malevolent and demonic. They were frequently thought to be witches' familiars as a result of their fame in medieval times. The historic witchcraft traditions in England were even collated by a woman by the name of Gemma Gary, who gave the book The Black Toad as a symbol of its significance in dark magic. Chinese people had a belief in Ying, whereas ancient Egyptians had a belief in Hecate. The ancient Egyptians painted their gods as being mixed breeds of animals and humans, and the frog is no exception to this. Pictures of frogs were thought to be a tribute to the fertility goddess Hecate. This makes sense because frog indications typically indicate a healthy environment. Toads are considered favorably in China. They are regarded as yin and as rain-producing animals. They are also being studied medically. Frog and toad, folk tales. You don't actually get warts from toads. We spent a lot of our childhood wondering if toads were responsible for warts. No frog or toad could ever give you warts, was the response. The innocuous, lumpy backs of toads, which have a texture that resembles warts, may be the source of this enduring superstition. In fact, certain frogs can tolerate being frozen. This is because they don't freeze because of the high levels of glucose present. Their lifeblood and critical organs do not freeze, certain parts do. This opens up the potential that a frozen frog might actually thaw out and come back to life. The wood frog is an illustration of this group of frogs. Frogs and toads both cause hallucinations. Neurotoxins, which can harm your neurological system, have been found in toads and frogs. 
Even if there are only a few of them that are like this, it's crucial to be aware that the poisons these frogs release pose a serious threat to your heart, movement, and ability to think clearly. The Colorado River toad, which secretes 5 meo DMT, is an illustration of this. Frog versus toad, delights. Cane toad legs are now considered a delicacy. A cook by the name of Emma Lupin discovered humane ways to both consume and kill the deadly cane toad. She claims that one must make sure the cane toads are calm before putting them in an airtight bag to prevent them from eating one another. This is necessary to ensure that the individual eating the food is unaffected by the toxin. Before serving the legs, she marinates and sautés them. Frog legs are delicious and good for you to consume. In France, it is truly a well-known and traditional dish. Frog legs are consumed by many cultures. They have the same flavor as regular chicken legs and offer additional health advantages. The typical human body can be protected by the omega-3 fatty acids, potassium, protein, and vitamins found in frog legs. The many preparations for frog legs vary by nation. It's difficult to say whether a toad or a frog is superior. In many instances, it's difficult to distinguish between the two. Even though the Anura Kingdom and its inhabitants already possess a huge variety of animals, the hunt for additional toads and frogs is still ongoing. Frogs and toads both have more to them than we previously realized. Cheers to the future, in which we'll soon learn more amazing things about our cherished amphibians, and that one day, whether you're a fan of frogs or toads, you'll learn more about these fascinating animals. That's for now. We appreciate you for being here. View more our channel videos.